Good morning. Welcome to the Bearded Bama Bushcrafter. As you can see this morning, I'm playing in the dirt. It's one of my favorite things to do. I don't get to do it that often. Used to do it all the time. Then I became an adult and started doing adult things, but I've realized adult things are no fun. So I'm reverting back to my inner child. And here I am in my garden with some of my chickens. I'm tilling through it one more time. Um, Want to plant some things this morning. My mom and I went out and purchased some plants. I'll share those with you in just a little bit. Right now I'm just trying to get some of the weeds and grass that overtook this area. This has been a garden uh, spot for me for a few years now. But the past two, two or three seasons, I missed out on doing my garden for various reasons. But it's a brand new start. It's a beautiful morning here. I'm trying to get this finished up so I can get these plants in the ground. And hopefully, I'm going to be supplying some nutritious, wholesome, yumminess food. Y'all stand by. sweating already all right I think I've got it tilled enough I'll probably overdo it I know I've read books on more primitive gardens and they have a no-till method I've tried that and I wasn't successful with it I'm more successful with tilling the earth um, it seems to produce more um, also it's easier to keep clean. All you got to do is just come out here once you get your, your garden established and just spend a little time here and there pulling up weeds. The trick is, is not making too big of an area that you can't handle. The chickens sure are having a good time. Andy here, he's a blue Andalusian. My neighbor gave me a trio last year and those are some hardy chickens. I really enjoy, there's one of my hens. Andy has two two girlfriends that he hangs out with. I don't know where the third one is. She is around here somewhere. And of course there's old Dave over there. This place is full of earthworms. I was going to try to pull one up and show you a good old greasy looking earthworm. These chickens sure love them. The good thing about earthworms, it shows that the soil's he healthy. I've tried to maintain this area and keep it healthy over time. I've fertilized it. I've amended it, you know, in different ways to make it more sustainable for my garden area. So now I'm going to put some rows in. And I'm going to set some plants out. I'm going to have to get these chickens rounded up because I think they're going to try to eat my young plants. So I'll have to give it some time, let the garden get established, and then... I'll let the chickens free range some more. Check this out. You know, I've heard people make comments about how expensive it is to, to grow your own food and that you're not saving money. These plants here, this is about $20 worth of plants. I have collards. Let's see if I can remember everything. I have Brussels sprouts. I have kale. I have broccoli, and that is some type of lettuce. I think it's red romaine lettuce. Very succulent, yummy stuff here. Collards, oh man, those are amazing. 
all these plants here are high in vitamins and nutrients. And man, they sure are good to eat. So now I'm gonna start setting the rows and putting the plants out. And then I'm gonna water it in real good. Look at Andy, after those earthworms. All right guys, stand by. All right, I got everything out. Man, all of a sudden it became a battle. <laughs> and I knew it was, I've got to get these chickens rounded up. It's funny, all the stuff I pulled out these weeds and whatnot. Chickens won't even touch them. Man, you bring this stuff down, all of a sudden it's like opening, opening up the buffet at the Chinese restaurant. Speaking of Chinese, that's why I don't like buying stuff from Home Depot. Bought this just the other day. Can y'all see that? And it just broke. Pitiful. A star cultivator by Anvil. You know, you'd think with a name like Anvil, because I own a couple of Anvils, and those things are tough. But I, I let myself get fooled. I said, okay. This is a heavy-duty tool. Andy's fixing to go in the pot. He won't leave my garden alone. He's coming over here to eat everything that I have put in the ground. And he's fixing to get hurt. <sighs> It's frustrating when you try to do stuff and you know you see a head. I guess it's my fault. I should have got the chickens put up yesterday, but I'm fixing to get them put up now. I've got to get this hose hooked up, get the water to this garden, and um, hopefully it's going to set in. And then a month or so down the road, we're going to have some good produce.